Y'all are on screen for now. For now. Enjoy your freedom for now. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to service area. And hello, hello, say hello to the live studio audience we have here. Hello, YouTube. We are wholesome and well-behaved. Yes. There's there's no chaos at all or feralness at all. Memory met Uranus. Yeah, so last time we played the Laville household here, which we had little, little jelly and then Matthew in top. But we're going to actually move down the road to the Bravo household. I haven't been paying I haven't been paying attention to the names of the lots. Do they all have interesting Not always. This is called Old Helipad House. What is what I want I can't manner. That's kind of an interesting title there. But so this is we have three sims here. We have Carlos Bravo, Adrian Bravo, and so I looked up how to say her name and I saw like two different ways that there's Rocio and Rocio. I'm going to say Rocio because it just makes more sense in my brain with the C, but I saw that there's like two different ways. I think it's Spanish. So let's, let's read. Many people were surprised when Rocio and Carlos Bravo got married. Rocio played Maria in the series Mysteries in the Swamp, while Carlos was the director of the series. Interestingly, Carlos's brother Adrian played her lover. So things looked a bit bizarre from the outside. Okay, wait. I'm trying to figure out the... Okay, so Rocio and Carlos got married. But then Adrian was playing like the lover. So it, that's why it was confusing. So it was like... I think these two might be brothers, but I'm not sure. Adrian and Carlos. But let's see. Behind the scenes, things aren't quite right either. Adrian has always thought that Rocio was, is unbearable. And he can't understand how his brother could marry someone who will surely waste all his money. So they, uh, interesting. So yeah, so they're like all about, all about like the, what do I want to say? The movie business and stuff. But yeah, so let, okay, let's jump in and see. Let's get to know these Sims a little. So here we are at their house. If there's a baby boy, can we name, can we, can he be named Johnny? That would be fun. Also, I'm going to have to hide chat. I forgot to hide chat, but I do like that idea. Sorry, y'all are getting silence now. Goodbye. Castrated. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Castrated and gagged. Cut it out. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I like the house. So it's kind of interesting. I'm noticing the, the combo of this big iron gate with these white picket fences. Kind of an interesting little combo. But um, I like the, this is like a the stucco. I love, I like stucco on houses. But so we've got like a pinkish stucco. Um, got some fun windows. I like the yellow. I'm noticing two different sports cars. Got some fancy, fancy cars. Um, let's look at the house. Ooh, I'm seeing some tiger print or yeah, I guess you could say tiger print. White tiger. So we've got, this is the top level. I don't know. Is this level three? I guess. Got like a little activities space. Got a bathroom, exercise. Sort of just like a fancy sitting room. Ooh, I like the curtains. I like the, I like, whenever, I love this like tacky carpet a lot. Look at this. This is a really cool room. Oh, there's like a little singing thing. It's like a little, little personal lounge zone. Very nice. I like this. I like this space. Let's go down one. Ooh, fancy bedroom. I like this. There's something about this, this particular color of these that has like this. It's like the mint and pink. That's really fun. I like that, that cult, that recolor, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we've got fancy, fancy. I assume this is the main bedroom for the, the two married ones, which I think is Carlo and Rocio. I think, I think. More, more carpet. I like that this kind of connects to the carpet upstairs a little. What's this? Okay, this is, is this, oh, this is kind of a cool shape. It's like a little, it's almost like a little corridor to the bed. There's like a, so this is a bedroom with a private little bathroom. So I'm assuming this is Adrian's room in here. Okay, yeah, continuing the fanciness. Oh, I like this, the fancy little aquarium that matches. Interesting choice to use this, this wood on the roof. That's like a cheaper wood to me. I don't know, I think I'd probably use something different on the roof, but that's maybe just my personal. I really like the rest of it though. Oh, I like the chairs. This is very fancy. This is very fancy. 
Look at the... Everything is just really cool. Okay, we got another little workspace in here. I like it. And then we, I really like this little space out here. Okay, and then we got... Oh, there's a little back... Just kind of a little back place, little back porch. Oh, also there's a little piano in here. Probably for lots of entertaining and stuff. Okay, let's get to know The Sims. I guess we'll start start at the top here. This is Mr... Oh, he wants to have a baby. Dun, dun, dun. This is Mr. Carlos. Mr. Carlos Bravo. Let's look at the family tree. Is there... What are the connect... Okay. Yeah, so just that. I didn't know if they might have other people in town. So we've got... He, so he's brothers to Adrian. And then married wife is Rocio is his wife. All right. What's your deal, buddy? He's a fortune sim. He wants to earn 100k. And then what is your personality? He's he's got he doesn't have like a messed up personality where it's like all offset the you know the discrepancies. He's mostly active and everything else is kind of in the middle, I guess. This man looks like he bathes in a whole bottle of cologne every morning. That's true. I could see that. Okay. Carlos wants Rocio and Adrian to get along. If he can't have peace at work, he at least needs peace in his own home. Getting the show going is essential to paying the bills and keeping the studio going now that UFO shows are falling into obscurity. So apparently, so they had a show about UFOs? Interesting. So I think it's indicating that like they had a show about UFOs and they had to, they have to like pivot to something else because it's like they're falling out of obscurity, which is interesting because you would think that like with everything going on, was the series of the swamp thing mentioned? I th I think so. so I, th I thought I remembered it being mentioned about that at one point. Okay, what is your memories, sir? Also, what is is his job? Blockbuster director, level nine. So he's level nine in the showbiz career as a director. He's almost at the top. So let's see. What is? Let's go from the beginning here. He graduated, got his job at showbiz. Met Rocio, became besties, got with her, married her, had a good party, moved in, made some money, made besties with Adrian. Okay, then met all kinds of local town folks. This is all just meeting people. Um, earned 10k. The man's making money. Just kind of scrolling over to seeing who had a good party. Varushka died, so he remembers Varushka dying. It's interesting how like some people remember Varushka, some people remember Tyler, some of them don't. Remember, don't know anything about any of it. He also got pickpocketed, met Kitty, and met Jeremy. I think these ones are more recent memories from when we've been playing. That's true. Does he not know Trauma or Uranus? I didn't see them. I was kind of seeing if, if they did so that I could make the joke as always. I don't think so. He doesn't know the glory of Uranus. Maybe he had to pivot because he was forced to not because whatever other excuse. That's true. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it's like, you're talking about the town. I mean, not the town. The um, the show. Maybe he had to he had to move away from doing that kind of show because, like, it, like, got blocked on the TV. Like, maybe General She is like, we're not playing these anymore or something. Censorship. Yes. Censorship. I think the, maybe the, the storytelling pictures will give us more. Now, he's got a fun look to him, doesn't he? He's got, he's got a little bit of the, he's got some brow. He's got some eye. I like his, he's got a little uniqueness to him. That's quite the flavor saver. <laughs> Are y'all talking about his beard? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this guy's got some more interesting relationships. Let's look at all his other stuff. So he wants to... So this is Adrian. He wants to woohoo with 10 different sims. What's your... What, so he's a romance sim. He wants to woohoo with 20 different sims. He has some really interesting relationships. I'm going to look at his personality and stuff first. So he, so, so Adrian does have a little discrepancy with his personalities. He's less sloppy, or he's more sloppy than he genetically is. He's more outgoing than genetic. He's same, he's just as like active as he normally would have been. But then he's a little more serious, and a little more grouchy than genetic. So Adrian's bio. Adrian has been voted the, okay, <laughs> Adrian has been voted the sexiest man in the community countless times. Are we sure? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how how I how much I agree with that one. I mean, he's not ugly, I guess. I feel like I've seen some cuter dudes in town. I feel like you know, who do you, I don't know who y'all think is like the cutest in town. I feel like the one that I've seen of like the men 
is I feel like it's um the the father of the automotive household, Enzo. I think he's the cutest dude I've seen in town personally. Everyone talks about one of the protagonists of the most famous series that has been shot in the distance and oh, the distant and boring service area. Rocio may be the lead, but he knows everyone watches the show to see him. Okay, so he's the actor. I did forget he's so he's an actor, which is probably why he gets voted as the cutest. So that's why everybody thinks he's like hot. It's because he's like famous. That's pretty much it. So interesting. Okay. I like that we already have a little tension working up here. Biker cushion is right there. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> I like that. Did we did we forget about Mr. Biker Cushion? He's got an actual mustache. This man can even grow his mustache. This man just like he's like a little little baby up there, you know? Directed by Open Shirt Man. That's true. That's also interesting that the show he's famous on is directed by his brother. Like that's the the job you got was the one your brother is running. You, like, could he not get any other work only until he could get work with, because of, you know what I mean? Like, kind of, is that techni- I don't know if that's technically Nepo, but like, I guess it is. Is it nepotism or charity? You're right. Uranus is the hottest sim in town, true. Okay, what are his memories? Carlos graduated with honors. Graduated. Had a great party. Got his job. So he's also in show business. Carlos got engaged and married. Moved in. Ooh, what's this? Wait. Met Sebastian, P met Peyton and general stuff. He fell in love with Peyton and then got rejected for a kiss with Peyton. I don't know if I remember that in her memories. I might just be forgetting it. So Peyton is the Dufour mommy. So he like fell in love with her, but it seems like it wasn't mutual. And then he tried to kiss her and she said, get the hell out of here. Is that why? So Peyton's also the one that runs the talk show. And remember, we were kind of trying to figure out what was going on because the this the Bravo household was on her talk show, and then she did something that like made them mad on the show. I don't know if y'all recall that, and it was like Matthew was involved in like causing something, and I don't know if there was something there. Was she like exposing him? Like everybody's like, we all we all love this this actor, but is he really that great? Guess what he did to me, and then like exposed him for being a creep and that's what happened you know what i mean i don't know if that's what's going on so that's kind of interesting then he but right after he meets general she i don't know if that's significant became besties with barbara poverty kissed her so this is barbara is one of the rose bride club workers so he went he he failed getting it on with peyton so he went and bought and spent some spent some money at the rose bride club and had his very first woohoo at the Rosebrad Club. Okay, so he paid for his very first woohoo. All right. You know what? Nothing wrong with that. Met Chantel, who's also... this. Chantel is also a Rosebrad Club worker. Get it on with Chantel. Oh, Met Biker. Look at, there he is. The sexiest man alive right there. Okay. Met Faileen. Faileen is the third of the Rosebrad Club workers. So he's now paid... He's So we know where he's spending all of his money he's making from being an actor is at the Rosebride Club. And then he met Marcus. Oh, I remember this. Okay. So this is like the other side of the, uh, in the automotive household. Marcus also lost his, well, you know, he, he had his first woohoo. I don't want to say that. He had his first woohoo at the Rosebride Club member. And he like immediately fell in love with Phelan and thought they were going to get married and stuff. And then what happened is Marcus went back and saw Phelan having a session with Adrian, and they fought. So that's what this is about. This was Marcus being jealous of Faileen being with somebody else. He's like, okay, buddy. Then we got these folks. Then who else did he meet? Oh, wait. Made besties with Varushka. Made out with Varushka. Fell in love with Varushka. Woohooed with Varushka. He was woohooing with General Shi's wife. He's woohooed with General Shi's wife. That's playing with fire. He has a death wish. He does. He has a literal death wish. Okay, so he got with her. Met Maiden. So he had five lovers at once. Woohooed with Maiden. So I guess, no, Maiden must be just a regular maid in town. I wasn't sure if she was one of the clones that live at the mansion, because they're also maids. But I'm not sure. Then met Birthcake. Had best, made best friends, kissed Birthcake, fell in love with Birthcake. 
Wait, she he got with birth cake. Did he woohoo with birth cake? Oh, he woohooed with birth cake. Fantastic. Met Raven. Oh, he got with Raven. She's the cool chick that we we made her give her a little makeover, but she was that cool kind of like movie star chick also. So got with Raven. And then this girly, also the green hair lady that we we keep seeing. She's like a spy. Okay. Other and this girly's another townie, I think. But then he remembers Verushka dying. Do you think he could have anything to do with Verushka, like as far as causing the death? Wait, you're right. He he effed a birth. He he woohooed with a birthday cake and had a great party. <laughs> you're right. Do you think she was at the party? Also, birthday cake is supposed to be an actress. Also, where's the memory for his fight of his fight with an anaconda for that jacket? You're right. <laughs> Okay, this man's got some interesting things going on. I love a good romance sim. <clears throat> I enjoy. Okay, so he's leading man level eight in the show business career. Okay, so he's got that going on. Do we look at everything for him? We looked at his, we kind of can look at his relationships. He hates Rocio. Phalene. We got Phalene. Got all his girlies. He still is in love with Peyton. Okay, does he have any other enemies? Just Marcus. Interesting. We've got some some interesting uh, things going on with him. Now I'm curious what... Okay, so we're going to move on to Rocio. We have a party. Is, so Okay, so she's a pleasure sim, which is interesting. We don't always have a lot. Of, I don't know how many pleasure sims are in the town so far. So she's pleasure. So everybody has a different aspiration, which I like. I like her. I, I like her face, actually. I think that she's got a unique look. Um, what is your lifetime wish? Have 30 successful parties. Okay, so we could be, we got, we, she's like an entertainer. She wants people, well, obviously she's an entertainer, but like at home entertainer. At home entertainer. Anyway, so she's a party girl. She wants to host parties at her house. So we're going to have all kinds of fancy parties and maybe some fun drama. Have a party. She also wants to appreciate Matthew. Oh, the reason I think she wants to get to know Matthew more is because Matthew, she went to Matthew's party when we were playing last, last time. She came over to Matthew's party. Let's see. Personality wise, does she, what's she got? Oh, she's very outgoing. She's a little more serious than she would be genetically. Um, and a little more neat than she would be genetically. That's kind of interesting. She's got a fun little... She's very lazy. What's her What's her little bio? Rocio may take her role as Maria in The Mysteries of the Swamp, which doesn't, like... So, actually, I figured out... I just realized what that kind of means. So, the creators... This creator's first town, which is the Jeans Shaker Oasis, is supposed to be based in a swamp. But so... So, I think Mysteries of the Swamp is a reference to Jeans Shaker Oasis because of it being in a swamp. So it's probably got to do with that. Do you think it's like uncovering what was happening there? Which I could see like General She and some of the other higher hubs not liking that. But she is not willing to tolerate that her brother-in-law calls her a bad wife. As far as she is concerned, they are going to have a baby soon. And there's nothing he can do about it, so he better suck it up. Okay, so she kind of wants to have a baby, even though she's a pleasure sim. So I wonder if hers... Is she the type to have a baby for, like, the clout? For, like, the attention? Toxic codependent relationship. I can fix her. <laughs> Every, I like that everybody's in love with her. I mean, I think I, I will fall in love with her, too, as we get going here. I want to... I need some spice. Does she have any spicy memories? I don't think she does. She's graduated, had a graduation party, got her job in showbiz... Fell in love with Mr. Carlos. They got engaged. Who'd she... Oh, then she met Adrian after they got engaged. Then married Carlos. Oh, I wonder if... Yeah, she... A bunch of the people that, like, Adrian are meeting might be at the party. Because I can see, like, Birth Cake and then Raven and Maiden. All three of these Adrian has slept with. So, like, interesting. Then Varushka dying. And then met these guys. Any good relationships hiding here she's got she's not like furious at adrian but he was furious at her she's friends with raven she has no chemistry with general she she has two bolts with biker cushion so she's a woman of taste see she has see she knows she's got no bolts with adrian she has a big x she's anti-chemistry with adrian but she has two bolts with biker cushion so she has actual taste okay okay i think we got everything oh and she yeah she's leading lady level eight so she's the same level as Adrian is. 
Let's look at the family storytelling photos before we get going. What, what's the story? Okay. So this is Carlo and uh, Rocio being romantic. Yeah, Adrian's problem with her. Yeah, that's a good question, Robin. I'm not sure exactly if it's just they... I don't know. What do you... Do you think it could... I wish that there was, like, some memories in there that pointed to him, like, making moves on her. and Because I feel like he's the type that would have, like, tried to romance her also behind her brother... Her brother... Her husband's back and his brother's back. And then, like, she rejected... Kind of like Peyton did, and then he gets mad at her. I feel like he could be like that, but nothing nothing tells us that, so... We got him loving himself in the mirror. He's gussying himself up in the mirror. He thinks he's hot. For a second I got confused, but this, this kissing right here, is them in their TV show. Which is the weird thing, so like, these two hate each other, but they play, role, like, lovers on a TV show. Right, so that's Adrian and Rocio playing on their show. See, this is the... He's singing to her. I can't tell who's behind the camera. I wish I like could tell who which townies these were. This is obviously Carlo. And then now this is like the dressing room. Adrian's in his little robe. And they're like arguing. And Carlos is like stressed. Which that's what Carlo said. He's like, I need a I need everybody to calm the hell down. He definitely seems like the type of dude that would accuse her of being a bad wife by refusing to cheat on her husband. Kind of like how dudes call women they have been trying to hit on ugly. Yeah, exactly. He, I think it's just that he's, I think, I think Adrian has like a big complex that he's like the best. Like he, in his bio, he's like, I was, I was, uh, voted the sexiest man in the whole community multiple times. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, but okay, buddy. Okay. She's buying clothes. He's happy. He's not. I don't know what the, if the clothes are significant. And then, so we have Rocio sitting with Peyton at their house and talking about Varushka. Varushka, she's talking, is she gossiping about Varushka? Okay. This is Mr. Mr. Man walking through town. We've got Lazy. This is Lazy Bricks. This is, uh, that's Chantel. I forget. This is one of the ta teens. This is Shirley. Oh, I just noticed in the background there's a bunch of posters with his face on them. But that's fun. There's like pictures of him in the background. Everybody's like, ooh, it's Adrian. He's hot. Okay, he's received a call from General Shi. Do you think that Varushka was like, I have some inside info that your co-star Adrian was woohooing with because I remember in the pictures of 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 Peyton's, like the the Peyton's household storyline, her little bubble at the show when she was like saying something was a little woohoo bubble like she was talking about somebody woohooing on her show and it was the, the bravos were there and they got like mad and stuff at her i wonder if she's like saying oh i heard that adrian woohooed with varushka and like maybe rocio rel relayed that to carlo and he's now gonna call from general she or calling general she okay there's this is another scene apparently it's kind of fun Oh, she's kissing an alien. It's hard to see. This is like an alien that she's kissing. And then this is like Adrian. This is like a little TV set. This is that set we saw. So she's like in love with an alien. And they're wearing like vests. These look like Sims. These look like Sims 4 vests that are like the conspiracy theorist like vests. They're arguing about. He's arguing. Maybe he's arguing about how he needs like a promotion or to be bigger than her or something. And then Carlos just in the middle like, oh my God. Oh. Oh, this is General Shi. Okay, Ad Adrian and Varushka going at it. General Shi catches them. I don't know if this is, because currently there's a clone version of Varushka, but I don't know if this is like the real Varushka before she like died. Does this have anything to do with why she was killed? That'd be kind of messed up if he kills her instead of Adrian for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. How is this clown still alive right now? Like, okay, what is happening? Is there a gossip? Okay, this is Adrian. This is Carlo. But so, okay, they're having a conversation. I think it looks like Carlo's doing like a this or like a this or so. I don't know if this is him telling him like, you need to cut it out because you're going to get killed kind of thing. I feel like, and I feel like Adrian, his head is so up in the clouds. He's like, nobody can touch me. He's like, I am untouchable. I don't know. But that's the last picture is that so i guess there there's a little bit of drama with him i didn't expect him to be mr adrian to be fooling around with varushka 
Yeah, so, no, but also I, I, I questioned whether it was the clone or not, but he does have a memory of Varushka dying after the woohoo with her. Because the woohoo with her is, like, way back here somewhere. Um, right here. And then her dying is here. So he did woohoo with, like, the real Varushka, you know? So I wonder if that is something with how she died or why she died. But so I guess one of our first duties is to make a baby and have a party. Unfortunately, I think this household is also going to be the one where it's like everybody goes to work during the day and we just like zoom through. Ew, Bud's here. Why does Bud keep showing up on everybody's lots? Bud the zombie's here. Yeah, speaking of the most handsome sim in town, Mr. Bud. Look at him go. Look at that booty. Look at him shake that booty while he dragged that leg. <laughs> Uh oh, where are you going? Oh, he's going to work. So they must have a little bit different times. So 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. These two are 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So, okay, so they're a little offset. So that's good. Oh, okay, they're already fighting. He's already being a bully. He's already being a jerk. I don't know. I just wish... Yeah, I wish I had a little more clarification. He wants to go into bed. A little more clarification on, like, why they hate each other so badly. I think it's... Is it just rivalry? Did he, did he clear, like, what did he say in his bio? Okay, here they go. Yeah, I think it's just because he said Rashio may be the lead, but he knows everyone watches to see him. I think it's just him wanting to be the lead, and he's he thinks he's good enough for it and stuff. My song, oh boy. Okay, we're fighting again. Okay, we, we need hobbies, people. We need hobbies. Maybe he should work on, his, like, his body skill. I guess in a way, so they're both level 8, so they're both at the same level. It's almost like there there could be a little bit of a competition to see who gets a promotion first, but also like a promotion would leave would bring them out of their like storyline a little. He has a clone to seduce. True. Does that's the question though, is because it shows him Oh, does he not does he not have Varushka here? He doesn't. Ooh, you're right. He doesn't see the clone. He doesn't like know the clone. I don't even see her. They each own one of these cars. Which is that I feel like hers should be the red one, but she's got the little purple and yellow one. And he's got the he's got the red one. And like they're even competing in like having the exact same car. <laughs> like I do you think she got it and then he's like also got it to be petty, but like he got a better color that he thinks is better or something. <laughs> I don't know. Kinda weird that rich actor Harlot guy lives with his director, brother, and co sister in law. I know it makes it easier to play, but still, yes. That car, honk. Also, wait, he gets out, off of work with this car, so they all use, like, the same car, technically. Mr. Bud is back. Why is- why is Bud haunting this road? Because last time we were down the road at another house in that direction, like, he's just haunting this road. These guys feel like they need, like, a butler. Too late for a party. Can we throw a party now? Bum, 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 bum. Who should come to our party? I want biker cushion. Is friends with Peyton? Maybe Peyton? For the drama? Raven and Matthew? I don't know why we'd get Jeremy. Maybe Bird's Cake? Uh, I think that what should be happening right now is that when she, when he does this to her, Carlo comes in and like fights with her. Him, not her. Like I feel like they need to argue. What does she want to buy? Oh, she wants to buy a bubble blower. I got a bunch of recolors of these. I'm gonna put like... Yeah, this fits pretty good right here. Serve food for your potty. Oh yeah, the crew's rolling up. Everybody showed up. Oh, I forgot this woman was very pregnant. Oops. Oops, maybe they can share baby tips. Ew, why are you freaking out? You're, you smell bad. I think they were arguing. I had them argue, but then I got distracted, so... Wants to pull a prank. Oh, she wants to influence people. Entertain, play, appreciate. Let's do some influencing. Who's going to influence who? Let's influence Miss. Well, we don't really know Biker. Maybe we'll influence Raven to interact with Biker. Okay, did that work? Oh, wait. I Where's the... Where's she at? Oh. Oh, no. It's going to fail because he's sitting down. Get up. Biker Cushion, stand. Biker Cushion, please stand. She's going to give up before he even gets up. What was the sound I just heard? Oh. Wait. We just had the rejection sound. Did you hear that weird sound? It was wah, 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 wah. I think it's there's a rejection happening. Why is Adrian rejecting birth cake? Maybe he do you think so like part when we read birth cake's bio before, 
Earth Cake more recently has had to dress like this because of like whoever she's working for, like in the film industry requires her to wear this like all the time or something, which is very bizarre. But like, do you think that back when Birth Cake and Adrian were together, it was before when she was wearing more like normal clothes and she didn't dress like this? And now he's embarrassed to be like seen like fooling around with this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that what's happening? Awkward. Look at, wait, the fact, okay. <laughs> the her memory thing which is like got rejected for a kiss is so, is her fries are so big it's inside of the fries <laughs> her little like head above head memory thing is like hiding in the fries oh oh now okay wait but so he engages with her now and it's okay but Raven's mad at him. Okay. Things are things are falling apart. Oh my god. Which, oh my god, look at birth cakes like eating with her hands, her glove hands. Okay, these two are getting along though, interestingly. Peyton wait, this is Peyton and Matthew trying to talk to him. I feel like they're here for for reporter reasons. Questions for for their show or for the news. Okay, so that was a successful entertainment with Biker Cushion. Oh, he's- <gasps> Biker Cushion just appreciated her. Wait, they're shaking hands? What's he doing? Also, I just realized she has red nail polish. Look at her- look at her red nail polish. <laughs> look at that Max's nail. Look at that Max's nail. Hi, Rocio. I know- I- you know, I think he'd really hit it off with this person I know. Oh, no. No, we can't. I'm sorry. We're we're married and are gonna have a baby, and my and her face is stuck. Laugh softly. Why are you laughing at her? I want you to do to talk. She's like, so tell me about pregnancy. She she. Oh no, the cops are here. Also, yeah, our party's a snoozer, and the cops came here. Cops came here. What the hell, man? Oh, I think it's because we have music playing. Isn't that got to do with it? Yeah, I think it has to do with music. When you play music past a certain time. Yeah, if, if if it gets too late, the cops come and shut you down. Yeah. No one seems to be having any fun at this party. Next time, take better care of your guests. This party is too loud. Let's break it up, people. What a jerk. You're a, you're a jerk, lady. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Make a baby. Oh, no. She's cry. She was just crying. Even though her face is stuck, she's crying about the... She's crying about the party. That's like her worst nightmare. Okay, you gotta take a shower real quick and then go upstairs. I'm gonna have them- God, it's so dark. Let's have a make out and then try for baby. Me and my cousins running around. Oh, a baby! The girlie is pregnant. The girlie is pregnant and, and with this timing we should see it before- I think we'll see it before we're done. Okay, now where's Adrian? Is he down? He's on the toilet. Okay, he wants to go on a date. He hates- I feel like we should take Adrian out on the town for the night. Like, I feel like he doesn't sleep. He just like goes out. I'm gonna bump his energy up because I saw him drinking coffee earlier. I'm gonna have him go on a- we gotta go explore some community lots with Adrian. We gotta figure out where we're going. I'll read your message in a sec. Let's figure out where we're- where haven't we gone? There's the new swimming pool. Old Warehouse Dance Club. We've been to the dance club. Smoky Arcade. I don't think we- have we been to Smoky Arcade? That sounds fun. Wait, sparkling fridge store? There's a fridge store. Stable for sale. That stable for sale seems weird. Like there's is there something hiding at stable for sale? Why is that there? Or is it just is it just what it is? I don't know. We also haven't been to the ugly but pleasant roadside bar. I don't think we've been here yet. Maybe the actually the bar seems like a good place for him to go. Let's go to the bar. So here we is at the roadside place. What's it called? The road the ugly but pleasant roadside bar. So we're at a bar. I know, the soccer ball carpet? I guess that's supposed to be- yeah, this- oh, wow. I wasn't really looking. Oh, this is the girlie we saw before. This is a, a local bartender lady. So, the interior, this is really fun. Got a lot of fun interior things happening. It's very, like, eclectic and all over the place. We have some of the window glitches happening, which are so annoying. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish the glitches wouldn't happen. So yeah, this is a cool place. We got some nasty, disgusting toilets with clothing in them. Fascinating. Wait, he thinks Granny's hot? He thinks Ermin Hilda's hot? 
I guess we should I should I guess the next date is with with granny we're gonna we're gonna get to know granny oh we got we got bolts with granny actually she's also a worker at the rosebride club it's okay they're getting along I think she she might take a date she might she might accept the date why is he into this old lady why do you think he's into this old lady he just he just feels like it this is a fun I like this bar um okay he wants to talk to her does he not you know what i'm just thinking i don't think he has all of his rewards for a romance sim he he deserves the the this one the smooth talk i think he's he does smooth talk in bands actually he might not be but i think he kind of what what the hell was that buddy hello sir um be friends with aaron have picture taken with adrian we could do that where's the thingy that'd be a good place for them to woohoo get on in ermine hilda Get on in, Ermin Hilda. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> me sitting here waiting for them to finish doing something and me not telling them anything to do. <laughs> oh, we can't do romantic. <laughs> I'm just like, look at that. Okay. It's literally 6 a.m. He's going to be gone all day long. That seems correct. Where does Date go? Where the hell does she go? Is she still in here? He wants to- oh, he does want a woohoo. Maybe we'll just try and woohoo. He wants to get 10 woohoos, is what I mean. Let's try to get a woohoo through the casual. Ooh, there's a hot tub we can woohoo in. Yeah, I know you- he, he- I know he's hot. Get in. Oh wow, look at Ermin Hilda's awesome little- little bikini. Not bikini. Swim- swimwear. <laughs> it's not a bikini. He's gonna be gone, like, all day. I feel like he's the type that's gonna start, like, he's gonna be out all night, and then he's gonna only get home just enough time to, like, go to work and be just start being like terrible at his acting job he's gonna be like one of those one of those actors who just starts like going downhill oh it's just are we gonna be i think i might have him go home i think i might have him en wait they didn't woohoo at all they didn't woohoo the hell she won't woohoo with us this lady's this lady's a waste of our time adrian because it's almost 9 a.m adrian stop walking like that you look stupid Good luck to you. These two are they they sleep in? Okay, so we're back here, back at home when we left. And I want them to hire Oh she's running. Oh she's puking. I'm gonna have him call service and hire a butler. Okay, girly is a pregnant with Johnny. Uh oh, wait, those just went bad. Is this one bad? I think she got it right before it went bad. The girly is having a dainty square of gelatin for breakfast. What does this girly do in her free time? when she's not throwing parties? That's the question. Oh, she does have a ballet bar up here. Maybe she can warm up on a ballet bar. She does have to work at 1 p.m. Mr. Man here has a 10 a.m. shift. Oh, hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Kynan. I think we looked at Kynan. Kynan's a random generator. Random generator? Random generated. Okay, who's doing what? Oh, Mr. Man's back. Okay, he, he just got back from the club high as hell. 10 a.m. He's just pounding away at the keyboard here, at the at the piano. This man is is high off his mind. We're gonna lock in woohoo and hot tub. That seems like his style. Oh, we got a little one of these. Is this from our girly? Adrian, romance bloomed between us as this single flower shows. And as I think of you, my sweet longing for you grows. Okay. Thanks, Ermin Hilda. Oh, he's got- wait, he's got some in his inventory. Wait, he's got- I never look at their inventories too much. He's got, like, a bunch of random furniture. What's this? Oh, that's literally the picture we just took. It's just the picture we took with Armin Hilda. Let's put it on the wall. I thought- what if it was, like, a shady, like, Varushka picture? You know what I mean? Anyway, he's going to work. That means Rocio is- is- is Will. Two weeks before shooting is to start on Carlo's blockbuster action film. The leading man walks out when his- Trailer's fruit and cheese platter is late. Take part. Cast unknown, I guess. Uh, Carlos ends up having to take work as a supporting player in a daytime drama. Uh-oh, did he get, like, demoted or something? Oh, he got demoted. Sound. Okay, so he got demoted. Okay, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Man got demoted. Wait, wait. This feels like we could make this, like, a storyline a little bit. Because, like, what's ha- Okay, first of all- the spy lady comes home with him. Like, why is- or she's just a walk by or something. But, like, the spy lady is here. And cautious sleeper, the suspicious, like, crooked sheriff is here walking by. But, like, these these characters are here as this man gets a demotion. And, like, I feel like there's some connections to, like, General Xi, his brother sleeping with General Xi's wife. 
the fact that his show is getting like dropped ratings because like i think it's about like things that the government doesn't want him to make a show about and stuff like and now he's demoted to like a way he's literally lower than these two right now like i feel like there's some drama happening here there's some something i feel like this is orchestrated oh, so is he a good guy oh you mean like technically i mean i don't know carlo's kind of a good guy if that's what you mean and now wait and now and now peyton's calling We'll say yes. I think she's actually headed to work, unfortunately. Crap. I forgot she's headed to work. But now Peyton, who's like the local journalist lady, is calling to talk to Rocio, who's probably like trying to- she's probably trying to get the tea because she's- she's friends with Peyton and stuff. Also, yeah, apparently she came home with him, which is interesting. Oh no, he's sobbing. He's a sad boy. Is there some food here? You want to eat a burger? Oh, he wants to go on vacation. He's like, I need to get out of here. He also needs a promotion. Crap, I want to lock in all of them. And he needs a kiss from his wife. He said, I need a kiss from my wife. Okay. What? Are, this man's just lying around so sobbing. He's he's just he's just so so broken. What's going on out here? She's stealing our newspaper. She's thinking about how much she hates Adrian and stealing our newspaper. Oh, she she got like cheated on by Adrian. Oh, he's supposed to. Oh, he's got to go to his new job. He's gonna go to his new position as a supporting player. Okay, here comes Girly. Look at these two cruising in with their stupid cars. Wasting gas because they can't drive together. Wait, why is he in our house? Why is Mr. C here? Mr. C is lurking around our property. What is Mr. C? He's lurking. Why is he? Oh. The belly is here. I don't know, we might not see this baby. We might not see this baby during this time. I don't think I'm gonna force it. I don't- I don't know. Depends on the mood we're in. Oh no, she froed up. She wants to buy a toy. She's getting the urges. I was gonna have her do a party every night, but then she's now she's pregnant. I'm like, oh, somebody kicked over our trash. It's Raven. Like, Raven, get over it, honey. What should he do? I don't know if he should go out again. We could go visit another lot with him, just for the hell of it. I'm gonna see what stable for sale is. I wanna see what stable- I'm just curious what the hell. Maybe there's like a secret meeting at stable for sale. Who are you? Dolly Del Monte? I've never seen her. And why is Erin here? Why are these two- is she a teenager? Wait, I'm gonna select this girly. Is she a- she's a pleasure sim. Is she- Oh. Call her shallow all you want, but Courtney knows what she wants? She's here to have a good time and she'll take full advantage of all CCU has to offer? Courtney? <laughs> Dolly? Is she Dolly or is she Courtney? <laughs> Her, her shallowness is that she doesn't know her name. She's a, oh, she's a freshman. Oh, she's she's a she's a young adult from the custom university I downloaded. So okay, so let's look at this lot. <laughs> let's look at this lot. Um, so apparently this is stable for sale. So I can see already we have we have a a little hookah in here. Zelda, Jeremy, Barbara, and Tyler Two the clone is here. And then Birth Queen is overlooking them. Birth Queen is here. Look at how- we're gonna play Birth Queen eventually, but I love her. I think she's fantastic. She needs a different outfit. She's supposed to have a different outfit. But anyway, what are in these rooms? Oh, there's a bed over here. These are empty. There's a chair and a bathroom. Okay, this seems like just like a hangout. This feels like it could be like a teen hangout. Are we talking to the young adult? I don't know if we want to do that. We might go to a different lot. Listen to bragging. Honestly, I feel like Aaron and Adrian would either get along really well or have be like rivals because they're like the same man. Like they're both just seem like they're like full of themselves, I think. But we haven't got to play Aaron yet. He's like, he's, br so he's, this is, Aaron is autonomously bragging. He's bragging about himself to Adrian. He says, I'm a good kisser. And I and I know Mr. Tomato. Yep. That's all he's got. Okay. Drive to another lot. Let's go somewhere else that's hopping. Where are the cool kids at? The pool. We gone to the where I don't want to go to the warehouse club. I wanna go somewhere new. Well we didn't let's go to Smoky Arcade. I don't know if we've been here. Why are we going off on the fart conversation? Something about this this stream, just all of the ongoings of this stream, one thing after the other. I'm just like exhausted. Like, my energy has, has tanked. <laughs> Y'all have aged me. 
<laughs> y'all are gonna y'all are gonna go on timeout. Whoa, look at this guy. Or well, girl? Question mark. Wow, those eyes are scary. Ew. Look at it. Deadpool, Spider Man. I like the little star feet. Little star marks. Okay, yeah, we definitely haven't been here. This is an arcade, allegedly. Okay, we got like a chill zone up here. This feels like a little. Oh my god, that red hit me really hard. Wowza. Okay. Her Herman Stalker is back. It's Herman Stalker. The floor is lava and everything else is lava. This feels like a young person hangout also. But maybe Adrian's immature enough. Maybe somebody will show up. Who's here? Who's that? James Void Hoop. Oh, look at James. Look at James. Can we talk about James? <laughs> He's got a stain on his shirt. I like his little outfit. Let's see what James... We haven't checked out James yet. I've seen him in people's, like... Oh, he wants to get married to the girlies. He's a family sim. Look at his little smile. Okay, he's in love with two of the girlies at the Rosebride Club. He's a minor leaguer. He's got like a weird personality situation. Like he's fully sloppy when he's supposed to be a little less. <laughs> James occasionally works at the city's television studio and, despite his rough appearance, is widely recognized as a noble person. He occasionally goes out to have fun with friends. Although he has some admirers, he is currently single. Why a, a noble person? <laughs> he's like not that bad looking. Like he's a little goofy. We were laughing at him, but he's like not that bad looking. But they're like, he, imagine somebody saying you're a little rough looking, but you're noble. So it's okay. You're a noble person. Anyway, that's James. Yeah, that's his name. James Void Hoop. Any other notable? He knows Uranus. He's pretty good friends with Uranus. And he's just got lots of memories about being with his ladies. Anyway, we'll make him unselectable. See if anybody else shows up that we can date or harass. Ooh, Trudy's- <gasps> Ooh, wait. Trudy's here. Remember Trudy? Trudy is the one that's got all kinds of boyfriends all over town. We need an Adrian Trudy romance, I think. What is the creator of Service Area watches these? They're just shaking their head in shame. It's funny because the creator of Service Area usually- I'll, well, they always comment on my videos, and I think they they told me once that they watched the the stream. But of course, now that I'm, I don't think they're able to be here live unless I'm wrong. They're very they really like watching it though. They told me that they eagerly await every episode, and they also have explained some different things to me and stuff, and cleared up different things. You've been being fairly in front of the creator, yes, <laughs> yeah. They're very nice though. I hope they know how much we love Biker. <laughs> well, here, well, I'll have to- I gotta screenshot it. Okay, so we're getting along with Miss Trudy. I guess we could maybe ask her on a date. Uh-oh, it's Mr. Chival- Mr. Mr. What's his name? Wait, what? Oh! The way he- the way he- Mr. Mr. Unsavory Charlatan walked in and just immediately got beaten. He looked at Miss Crumplebottom and she said, get the hell out of here. The OTP. One day they shall be together. Make out? To accomplish this little make out thing? Who is sobbing? <gasps> Uranus! Uranus is sobbing! What What did they do to Uranus? He's crying! What did they do to him? <laughs> did Shadow do something? I think Shadow- I think, the, I think Shadow did something to Uranus. <laughs> He's crying! She's poking Uranus! <laughs> this is so stupid. I... <laughs> Get out of there! You know what? The day that we restart, when we when we play the next round and I get to play Uranus live with all of you is gonna be quite a day. <laughs> it's gonna be quite an experience, isn't it? They're back at it. Back at it again at the local arcade. The smoky arcade. I, that one never gets old. This one never gets old for me. I love those two. Maybe I can do like a cat. I don't remember if the casual kiss was, was. Oh, oh, there we go. We got a little crush. Oh, she said no. Yeah, Trudy is making this hard. I think I'm gonna end the date. I'm I'm frustrated with Trudy right now. Bye. It's 5 a.m. I'm gonna have him go home. That was fun. We got to do a little date. Our dates are not being successful right now. 
is he maybe be, because of his the exposing he was exposed live on Peyton's show his public image is is dying and then word has gotten around that his brother's no longer a director everybody's thinking less of the man you know what i mean ban yeah you know that's actually probably a good idea let me just let me just ban everybody that said uranus in the last five minutes hold on one quick we're quick <laughs> hold still everybody hold still no don't catch me don't <laughs> everybody's panicking i used to word in a completely wholesome way Let, let's review let's review protect uranus at all costa uranus is wet <laughs> when i get to play uranus live play uranus live <laughs> I'm just reading. I love Uranus. <laughs> Uranus is a wonderland. <laughs> I can't see Uranus anymore. Show me Uranus. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all realize what you've done. The pain you've caused. <laughs> what are we doing, folks? How would you go to sleep? I like the, the system we have where brother Adrian is out all night doing stuff and like never sleeps. Who's yelling out here? Oh, Adrian, you're better than this. You're better than this, Adrian. He's gonna come home from the club and have some espresso. That's like how he exists. Oh, he's shaking. He's shaking. He's got some time to chill. I just, this man has not actually slept in like days. Which like the thing is, is when Sims are on good dates, they get their needs filled. They, you know what I mean? Like it boosts their needs a little. So it's like doing the dates helps him survive the night and then come home and not have to sleep. I don't know for uh, girly. Okay, Ms. Ms. Rocio is out here. She's, she's, but Rocio first she's on her little hookah, bubbling, bubbling away, and now she's drinking wine. Ma'am, Johnny Bravo is gonna be screwed for life. Ooh, she look at Adrian just walked by and she got so mad. I'm gonna take a picture of her angry face. <laughs> look at her. Yeah, Look at this little- are, they, are these people having cookies for breakfast? These people are literally having Santa cookies for breakfast. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. I'm just so mad. Ooh, what she want to do? She wants to perform on the mic. Ooh, I want her to do that. There's a microphone upstairs. I miss cookies for breakfast. Anybody can have cookies for breakfast at breakfast? Bre breakfast at any time. Let's see. Um, she wants- let's just have her sing. I can see her actually performing at a little club. He just got in my personal space. <laughs> the way he walked at the camera scared me. What are we talking about? He says, no, it's not night. Yes, I kiss. What else do you want to know? I know everything. Get out of the way, Butler. Butler's eavesdropping. No, I don't have two loves. Uh, I have more. Yes, I've gone on the cruise. Do you want to go on a cruise with me? No, I don't like trains. They're scary. They're, they make fast turns. Bye. <laughs> Carlos has the day off today. I'm gonna have him- can he- can we ask the butler to cook? Like, I have to use influence points to my butler? I don't even have enough to serve a meal? Hey, Mr. Butler, can yeah. you, like... Why are you just standing here, buddy? I don't ever- oh, there's cookies. I didn't realize there were still cookies. <laughs> the butler said, I made you cookies. That's enough, right? Mm. It's the evening time. We'll see for the hell of it. I don't think she's gonna have baby. I think it'll be the the same time she got her bump tomorrow, but we're not going to be playing tomorrow. <gasps> why is- why is- why is Krayshawn calling for Adrian? Is, she, is this a warning? Hi, I'm Krayshawn. Since my friend Trudy had such a great time with you the other day, I thought you wanted to go downtown. Yes. Yes, I want to go downtown with Krayshawn, but we don't have a downtown in this lot. This little hood. Wait. I've been- I've been baited. We don't have a downtown. I've been lied to. I got pranked. Krayshawn just pranked me. Let's see what happens. I think I just get... I've had it happen before. By downtown, they made six foot underground. Apparently, maybe it is. Maybe it is a threat. Is, is Are the zombies secretly working for their creators? What are you trying to do, buddy? There's ten other toilets in this house. It's massive house. Burn a burn a boo shaboopy. 
Ja boopies mop boo. That's kind of stuck in my head, except I can't sing the words right. This man has slept for the first time. This is his first time sleeping in like three days. Oh, it just started thunderstorming out. It's actually Thursday. So I think what I'm going to do. So she's going to have end up having her baby next round. We're going to let her. We're just going to do it natural. We're going to be fair. We're not going to force it like we do with Calicundia. <laughs> or all our other hoods. Oh, wait. You, where were you? I can't believe you stood me up. Don't call me again. I mean, what do you expect from a zombie? You know what I'm, what can you expect from a zombie? Like we don't have a downtown, Krayshawn. Where did you, where were we gonna go, Krayshawn? Krayshawn was having visions of a downtown. Uh, okay. So our time with these guys are done. Are done? Is done. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait to see Johnny Bravo next time. Um, I don't know what else to say. I like this, I like this household. They are a little bit like the 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 last household where they were like a little bit quieter a little bit more basic but yeah i guess that's it for now thank you very much for watching everybody here we'll we'll turn on chat again for the for the goodbye uh to the youtubies youtubey goodbyes <laughs> we say bye bye let's pick it up with baker cushion a, f a fair next rotation that could be fun that could be fun but they were cool i think they've got some interesting things starting i'm wondering if there'll be a point where Mr. Bye toots quietly. Wow. I'm wondering if there'll be a point where Adrian is off on his own. Because it feels like he kind of should be in a way. But I mean, I, I get why he's here. But I think he could at some point be on his own. Maybe I think there's like an apart. There's a couple of apartment buildings in town that I might take a chance with. Some of these Sims could move into eventually. Um, But that's it for now. I guess we're going to go. Goodbye, YouTubies. <laughs>